Hi everyone, my name is Reem Kuzba and I'm a fourth year doctor student in the Historical and Cultural Studies of Religion at the Graduate Theological Union. My research examines the socio-political and religious underpinnings behind a thriving and diverse fashion industry in Egypt following the Arab Spring in 2011. I look at fashion and dress as a medium to understand how women's bodies and dress become a field of struggle over identity and agency. Studying material culture such as, such as dress could be a way to help us understand how people can transform and adapt to political and economic changes outside of their control. I employ an interdisciplinary approach given how the study of dress and fashion intersects with multiple disciplines ranging from anthropology, sociology, history, art history, to culture and media studies, religion, and finally feminist and gender studies. Over the past three decades, these disciplines have simultaneously advanced the theoretical and methodological approaches to studying material and visual culture with regards to dress as a social system. One of the main aspects of research that stood out for me is how dynamic and diverse native Egyptian dress was during the 18th, 19th, and 20th centuries that really cuts across religion, ethnicity, and geography. Although it is slowly disappearing as a result of a growing capitalist economy in, the, in Egypt over the six or more decades, contemporary Egyptian fashion designers use modern techniques to preserve this legacy before it's gone. And even though my research focuses mainly on the contemporary fashion design or system, the ideas I talk about in this video shall serve as a chapter of my dissertation that aims to cover the several social, economic, and cultural changes during the 19th century are responsible for the proliferation of European perceptions of taste and ideals of beauty, which ultimately marginal, marginalized and ghettoized local perceptions of taste, especially when it comes to dress, and was also responsible for creating a local fashion industry that would emerge towards the end of the century. That said, I attribute the proliferation of Western clothing styles to several factors. The most important among them is the flourishing newspaper and magazine industry during the 19th and early 20th century, which introduced Western fashion to Egypt through marketing. In addition to, in addition to that, our department stores, ordered by some of the most prominent Jewish families, played a vital role in the economic history of Egypt by importing and popularizing European fashion in Egypt, and who also used the press to advertise for Western clothes in their stores. I hope this research will add to the growing Arab interest in studying the contribution of the Egyptian Jewry on modern Arab and particularly Egyptian culture, and also the impact of Arab Jewry on Europe and the whole world and the world at large. Fun fact, one of my favorite perfumes that I've been using for years is from a fashion house, French fashion house called Chloe. This fashion house was founded by an Egyptian Jew known as Gabi Aguillon, originally from Alexandria who left Egypt in the 1950s during the exodus of the Egyptian Jewry in light of the establishment of the state of Israel and the rise of Arab nationalism. The actual reasons behind the immigration of Aguillon remain unclear to me and worthy of my research, but it must be placed within a historical and political context of Egypt and the Arab region at the time. My research is still at an early stage, which means certainly subject to substantial change and revision in the future. Finally, one of my main challenges I faced over the past few months is COVID and the spread of Delta variant, which really prevented me from traveling and accessing the National Archives or doing any field work or even accessing libraries here in the States. Uh, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.